the Jeremiah said Rudy. his word was in my bones. Forget Rudy. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal Rudy. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! For that means every believer in Christ who has this understanding can tell any demon, any spirit in the name of Jesus, you have oppressed my family. I, I have been coming to you as a Nigerian. I've been coming to you as a Yoruba man. I've been coming to you as a Hausa man. But I come from my exalted position. I come with the consciousness of my office. The devil does not respect your earthly locality. No, the devil does not respect your age or your gender. Positional advantage. Oh, hallelujah. Let this be a revelation to someone. Your positional advantage. What does that mean? Your positional advantage reveals to you your status and your ranking in the spirit on account of this victorious sacrifice of Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 7. This is the revelation that demons do not want the saints to have. This is the revelation that infirmity and all kinds of satanic things, when you do not have this revelation, believe me, no matter what else you know, you will be a victim of the vicissitudes of life. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, five, even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ. Say together with Christ. Please shout it. Say together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Verse 6 now. It says, and had raised Joshua Selman up together. It's not that Jesus, as he was ascending, a mystery was happening that none of these princes knew. He had raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places. This is your spiritual location right now, in heavenly places. Heavenly places is not up. When you look up, what you see is your ceiling. Heavenly places is a location of ranking in the spirit because you see there is order in the spirit. Even among the demonic kingdom, they respect order. It was Paul that gave us the organogram. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities, against powers. There were a legion of demons in one man, but it was not all of them that spoke. They also believe in obedience. So it's important that you understand that positional advantage because you are able to exert dominion over principalities and powers on account of the consciousness of your status. Is someone learning? We have been raised up. Keep that scripture there, please. We have been raised up together and made to sit together in heavenly places in Christ we have been raised up together what is in heavenly places you have to go to Ephesians chapter 1 chapter 1 from verse 19 let's see what is in these heavenly places the Bible says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power next verse which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead. You see how intelligent Paul is. The first information he gives the church in Ephesus is that Jesus was raised from the dead and made to sit in heavenly places. When we get to chapter 2, he says, in continuing that revelation, you were raised together. Keep the scripture there, please. And set him at his right hand in heavenly places 21 he gives perspective to the implication of being in heavenly places that realm that is far above that organogram that paul would list far above principalities far above powers far above might far above dominion far above every other office that is named not only in this realm but that even in the world to come your status will still hold Listen, this is very powerful. There are many people trying to cast out demons and you find out by the next day your hand is not working again because you came 
with a blind approach not from the standpoint of your positional advantage your feet may be stepping upon the shores of Abuja or any region but the Bible says in ranking you have been exalted to the very position as Jesus was being coronated the Bible says in him and with him we sat at that right hand of power that means every believer in Christ who has this understanding can tell any demon, any spirit in the name of Jesus, you have oppressed my family. I, I have been coming to you as a Nigerian. I've been coming to you as a Yoruba man. I've been coming to you as a Hausa man, but I come from my exalted position. I come with the consciousness of my office. The devil does not respect your earthly locality. No, the devil does not respect your age or your gender. The protocol in the spirit is obedience is based on ranking and spiritual status. Your positional advantage. Is someone learning? Mm. So you may look ordinary for as long as you think you are ordinary. But the moment you have this awareness, listen, this is not some Pentecostal jamboree. No, no, no. This is, is it is truth. The devil knows that this is true. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. tell you the truth when I stand to minister to, for, to people I don't stand with the consciousness of this pulpit this is too low for authority no what is the distance between this and the ground you stand from an exalted position this is not pride it is the truth in the army there are generals is that true and even among generals there are rankings there are colonels, lieutenant colonels, and then like that. It, the Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. A man of honor, a man who has been exalted and does not know. A man of honor who does not know. Waiting for the amount in your bank account to impart faith to make you know you are risen with Christ will cost you a lot. Waiting for the applause of men. You must carry this consciousness. It is not a privilege of preachers. It is not a privilege of the Western world. The same Lord is rich unto all. They say, I perceive, I see that God is no respecter of persons. Exalted. 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 His possibilities become my possibilities. Exalted in the name of Jesus Christ far above great fathers of faith like Bishop Oyedeko will call it a far above mentality and they've proven it with their lives the Bible says he that cometh from above give us John 3 31 he that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from the north is a northerner. He that cometh from the south is a southerner. He that cometh from America is an American. But he that cometh from above is above all. Is above all. Is above all. Above causes. Above yokes. Above limitations. He that cometh from above the preacher that comes from above the businessman that comes from above the parents that comes from above the career person that comes from above i am more than a nigerian as much as i'm proud of being a nigerian it it, it is more than being a nigerian more than being an, an african more than being on the earth here i may not look like it but the bible says i come from above 
prophesy to yourself I come from above I come from above in the name of Jesus shake off limitations shake off the negative speakings of man I come from above hallelujah man of God the day you carry this consciousness it should not plant pride but there is a settled confidence I come from above that means everything will be exempted for me it can be normal when it comes to my turn no there is an advantage and I insist that at that advantage be reflected in my life he that cometh from above do you believe the Bible now you see sit down please please sit Satan listen my dear people Satan is the master of the sense realm he knows that until the believer is properly mentored to a point where you become spiritually minded there is such a thing as being spiritually minded and there is such a thing as being carnally minded are we Bible students the Bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace what does it mean to be carnally minded that means your convictions are based on the impulses of the flesh the impulses of the sense realm if I check my account and I see a thousand naira there and I look and find myself in one small room and I'm trekking with no vehicle I use those things to now describe myself and I feel stupid for believing what the Word of God has said so because Satan knows that except the believer is properly mentored to be spiritually minded Minded, the default state is to use the things around you there are many wealthy people who are not seated in heavenly places there are many intelligent people who are not seated in heavenly places being seated in heavenly places is a status that comes as a gift by being in Christ the moment you have that understanding now you understand what I mean by the statement that we made earlier that the victory of the believer is not dependent or the dominion of the believer is not dependent on the victory of Christ alone it's dependent on your understanding there is a consciousness that swallows up limitation you can sit down in your one room and take Gary with honor still seated in heavenly places and you force that reality in that room to change and look like what the Word of God says do you believe what I'm saying? I'm seated with Christ. I'm seated with Christ. Seated with Christ. It has made me an overcomer. Seated with Christ. If you don't trust me, trust the person I'm seated with. Hallelujah. There are times that when they are giving offering in church, children may not have offering, but the people they are seated with can bail them out. Is that true? They can be passing the offering bag and you are seated with no offering and someone seated close to you who you are seated close to matters spiritually speaking so you don't feel bad now but physically speaking because the person you are seated close to is seated with Christ the Bible kept telling us and showing us the picture of God and Jesus a number of times when Stephen was about to be retired out of the many things the Bible records that he saw was that scenario the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of the father in honor of a Messiah who was coming home ladies and gentlemen I submit to you there is no greatness for anybody in Christ who does not understand this you are not the first to come from a weak background you are not the first to start ministry with all kinds of limitations your status becomes your advantage in this wicked world he that cometh from above let me indoctrinate you again he that cometh from above cometh from above you will always reflect your location 
he that cometh from above he that cometh from above is above all the bible says he that is of the earth do you know he's he's listing different realities alongside the consciousness that activates them that means you have an an option of having an above mentality an earthly mentality and we will know your conviction by your speaking the bible says he speaketh of the earth he that cometh from heaven is above all what is all above everything above all you don't see limitations in your life your only limitation is the voice of God and the law of process what business does a plane have with a mountain what business does a plane have with water it is above the concept of mountain and river and valley is a relative statement. It's very relative. A person who is flying 35,000 feet above sea level does not even know that he just passed a mountain. So what you call a mountain is a representation of the realm you are looking at things from. Are we together? What is the business of someone who is flying 35,000 above sea level with a snake that is moving on a mountain or a dog that is barking on the ground or an arm robber who is waiting on the ground no there are certain realities that will never reflect in your life until your mindset changes now let me tell you the balance most believers have not been taught this positional advantage properly it has translated to pride without revelation so there are people who cannot start small. They say, God forbid, I will never take Gary in my life again. I will never take this. I can't stay in this one room. I am, no, 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 no. This is not, your physical realities does not, if a king stays in a hut, you call that hut a palace. It's not, it's not, listen, it is the, it is the king's influence that changes the environment, not the environment. Are we together? There's a particular king in this nation, I think he's still alive. He was king at age two, two years. Some of you may come from his region. Two years, he became king. And you see the small boy with all kinds of rappers that look like they just wanted to snap him. Whether you believe him or not, he's king. And from that time till now, he's been king. Your positional advantage your positional advantage. I always marvel at an aircraft as it lifts. You will see it turning very slowly, lazily. Sometimes you are looking at your time and you're almost getting angry and it looks like the plane spoiled. Just be patient. Let it get to the end of the runway and it starts moving to a point that you cannot even tell what speed is at. And in literally, without exaggeration, in less than a minute, is already far above you, you you just keep looking at things and houses now become like toys the Bible now says we have been raised up it's a spiritual location so when a spirit talks verify what realm before you waste your time with heart attack and pain and whatever it is if someone looks at you and says you will never amount to anything before you waste your energy verify from what standpoint I truly believe this about myself and I'm proposing this understanding that this is what sponsors your victorious living you will waste the experience of Easter if you just celebrate Jesus alone you must know that as he was raised I was raised with him I was raised with him I was not raised with him as an apostle I was raised with him as a believer I am first a believer before a man of God when you strip me of everything I have the last thing that will be left is my status as a believer and the Bible tells that it is the greatest status behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God not men of God sons of God is a greater status than a man of God a man of God is a description that shows the geography of your assignment a man of God does not describe your identity with God 
but being a son of God the child of a CEO and a board member in that company in terms of status and access who is greater Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Ah. Mortal man, awesome God. Mortal man, awesome that I'm just a mortal man, awesome God. Unassisted, outside of Christ, we are mortal men. The word mortal means death doomed, subject to deterioration at any point. That's what it means to be mortal. But when you are joined to Christ, let's continue. So in discussing the identity of the believer, the first thing we are looking at is your positional advantage, your exalted position, elevated in ranking. I wish we had time, we would have looked at the adumbration of this in Genesis chapter 41. Genesis chapter 41, when you read from verse 40, what happened to the man you called Joseph in Egypt was a foreshadow of what was going to happen to the believer. Are we together now? So Joseph interprets the dream of Pharaoh and in an instant he is exalted. Thou shalt be over my house, Pharaoh said, and according to thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. 41 it says and pharaoh said unto joseph see i have set thee over all the land 42 it says and pharaoh took off the ring of his hand and put it upon joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck 43 and he made him to ride on the second chariot which we he had and they cried before him bow the knee and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt seated with Christ in that exalted position forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy God's fire